What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to an unboxing video. This is going to be one like I've never done before. So if you guys know, if you've checked out the links in my description for my videos, you guys know that I am an action figure photographer. Obviously, I unbox a lot of action figures here on this channel. Hopefully you've watched. If you haven't, make sure you go back and check them out. But today I'm going to be unboxing some of my first posters of my action figure photography super excited so stick around and shoot there we have it a card board box let's open this package up and let's see what my posters look like super excited these posters are made by ampix make sure and download the app it's super helpful super useful and these posters were inexpensive stick around let's open them up so you guys know what to do. Make sure and smash that like and subscribe button here on YouTube. It really, really helps. And check out the description for all my social medias where you can see pictures like the ones you're gonna see here in these posters and more. Thanks guys. All right, so now that we're in, we have the inner workings of the plastic, of the uh, cardboard box there, excuse me. So this is all shrunk wrapped very tightly. It has the image file names down bottom here, it's pretty cool if you're into that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead, we just kind of peel this back here, a little bit of plastic. There we go, I don't want to do too much damage. There are posters in there, they're upside down. Very nice, open that up. So they are taped also to the cardboard so they do not move. That is also very cool. So this plastic is really shrunk back on here. Let's go ahead and get this off here. Okay, so that's off there. So not complaining. When you're shipping photographs, posters, all that kind of stuff, you really want it to be in there. And they were definitely in there. So now I guess we go ahead and peel this tape off here, which should not leave any kind of residue on anything. I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. This is masking tape, I believe. And masking tape, if done correctly, does not leave any streaks. So we're almost there. Stick around, we're gonna reveal the first poster. Let's see what we got here. Oh man, we have Darth Revan and Darth Malik from the Old Republic. So if you checked out my social media, you guys would have seen this photograph. So this is a, a couple weeks old, but the first time I am viewing it in uh, poster form and I am losing my words, ladies and gentlemen. This first one looks absolutely tremendous. So I use a little bit of Photoshop to bring the lightsaber blade to life. And obviously Revan is holding his in a backward hand technique. I have a glass bottom here that I spray painted one solid black. So it has the shiny uh, gloss finish to it. And for the Death Star walls, those are actually dish drying racks. So you can find those on Amazon, put some light behind them. That's what you got. All right, let's move on to the next poster. All right, so the next up, we have a poster of Darth Vader crossing the Delaware River. So this is one that I've done also recently that was inspired by the very, very famous painting of George Washington crossing the Delaware River. Yeah, I go, I know you what you guys are saying. The Sith are the bad guys, George Washington was a good guy, but hey. Darth Vader just looks too cool in a boat surrounded by stormtroopers. So I picked this boat up from my mom's house. She had it sitting around when I went and visited uh, uh, last month. And this water is actually plastic wrap. I laid one layer down at a time, did little crumples down, put some blue paper underneath to give it the watery look. And this is just fuzz from any kind of cotton ball or anything like that. It's pushing off a rock there. This is paper in the background to uh, represent the rocks and stuff in the background and the cloud formation here in the back is actually canned aerosol uh, atmosphere i just give it a little spray as you can see it works perfectly put some uh, yellow and green paper in the background just to give it a little bit of a look and if you look closely you can see my childhood bat cave from the 90s so great poster the quality on this one is just insane i cannot believe how great these posters turned out next poster all right, last but not least, let's see what we got. So we have the poster of the Imperial Family Game Night. So this is one that I've been thinking of for a while, ever since I picked up the Monopoly board at a thrift store that's for a dollhouse. So I picked it up and I was like, you know what, we have 
to do a photograph of the Empire with the Emperor sitting there pointing out different things and Vader and Thrawn battling it out on Monopoly. Obviously Thrawn is winning with a larger pile of money. So I picked this table up at the same thrift store. Just a wonderful wonderful set here we have some very wonderful stormtroopers here very shiny armor reflecting all of the uh, uh lighting that was on the set and we have the dish drying racks in the background along with the flooring that i painted and these are 3d printed crates that i picked up on ebay really can't remember the uh, name right now and if you'd also look close in the background i tend to throw that back cave in there a lot it's super nice it the plastic looks like every other piece of plastic that i have and george lucas taking a little time out there with his shake so this is the last post ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching i really really hoped you enjoyed this and just for a quick recap darth revan and darth malik Darth Vader crossing the Delaware, and Imperial Family Game Night slash Pizza Night. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was so much fun. Ampix, you really knocked it out of the park on those posters. Definitely coming back for more right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure and smash that like and subscribe button here on YouTube and check out the links in my description. Very, very important that you check out the links in the description so you don't miss out any of the pictures that I take of the figures that I unbox here on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, may the force be with you.